recreational judo team. Zenyu, I miss you. We miss you. All the coaches miss you. This COVID-19 stuff is serious. I'm glad that you guys are practicing your quarantine and your proper social distancing, but we also need to make sure that we're working on our judo skills and keeping in shape so that when we do get to come back to the dojo, we're ready to rock and roll. All right, so we're gonna start off like we normally do in the dojo with a warm up. Yep, we're gonna start with a warm up. Get our body pumping, some blood to all our muscles so that we feel nice and warm and ready to go. All right, so we're gonna start start with jogging in place. Every warm up activity is gonna be done for about 30 seconds. All right, here we go. Jogging in place for about 30 seconds. All right, hopefully you're keeping up with me. Really pump your arms. We wanna get that blood pumped into our fingers, fast feet so that we make sure that we're getting all that blood down to our toes. We got about five more seconds, four, three, two, one, and we're gonna switch to high knees. We're gonna get these knees up as high to our belt as we possibly can. See how I'm getting my knees up? And we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. All right, woo. See if you can get your knees a little higher. You can do it. I like to put my hands out. All right, so I touch my hands. We got about 10 more seconds. Woo. And we're gonna switch to butt kickers. So in three, two, one, butt kickers. Okay, I'm trying to get my heel up. You can put your hands back here if you wanna try and touch your hands. There you go. Woo. Keep moving those arms. We got about 15 more seconds, and then we're gonna switch to jumping jacks. Woo, I'm already breathing hard. Are you breathing hard yet? Woo, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and jumping jacks. All right. Woo, jumping jacks used to get me confused when I was little. I would always do them wrong. So make sure that you bring your hands and feet together like the letter I out wide like the letter X. We're gonna keep doing that. Notice that I keep my arms nice and straight. We got about 10 more seconds. Don't do these little T-Rex ones. Okay, get your hands high. Three, two, one. Woo, hopefully you're breathing hard now. We're gonna do hip circles. I'm gonna go around in one direction and then I'm gonna switch. There we go. Ooh, I'm nice and warm now. I'm going the other way. I'm already starting to sweat. Are you starting to sweat? All right, go the other way. We got about five seconds left. We're gonna switch to arm circles. All right, start off slow. Babies, and then get bigger, 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 and bigger. Now we're gonna go back the other way, baby circles. Yep, baby circles and get a little bigger. Medium circles, big circles, gigantic circles. There you go. And then we're gonna switch to neck circles. So we're gonna go around, draw that circle with your nose all the way up to the ceiling, all the way down to the floor. Okay, we're gonna switch the other way. Draw a circle with your nose from the ceiling to the floor. All right. And then after this, we're gonna switch to over the bush. All right, so we're taking the left leg. We're going in a big circle like this. Okay, I'm gonna do this for about 15 seconds. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go the other way. I mean, other side, okay? Notice that I bring, I keep my body straight facing forward and I bring my leg out and around. But my upper body tries to stay really still. Okay, we're gonna go backwards this time. Notice that my upper body is trying to not move. If this is hard for you, you can always try to hold on to a chair like on this side. Okay, we're gonna switch to the other side, backwards. 
There you go. Work on your balance. Try not to move. Again, you can hold on to a chair or the couch. Maybe your mom and dad are there. <laughs> you can hold on to them. Okay, we're going to do a kicking toe touch. So, keeping my legs straight and kick up. Now, I only kick as far as I can kick. I'm going to try to touch my hands. Notice that my chest is up. I'm not doing this. This is a no-no. Boop. No, no, I'm not gonna crunch. I'm gonna stay nice and tall. Wow. And notice that I'm lifting nice and controlled. I'm not trying to karate kick. Okay, just as high as I can lift. That's a better way to describe it. It's more of a lift, not a kick. All right, we're gonna do inchworms. So in order to do that, I gotta bring you down to the ground so you can see me. I'm standing here, legs straight. I'm gonna try and touch my toes. Try to touch the ground, and I'm gonna try to walk my hands out like this. And I'm gonna walk it back, okay? I try my best to keep my legs straight, as straight as I can, okay? And every time I do it, I try to reach a little further. See how I get my butt flat, okay? We're gonna do this for about another 10 seconds. Maybe time for about two more. Touch those toes, try to get your legs straight. Good job. You're awesome. I have to say that, say I'm awesome. All right. Whew, I'm already sweating. I don't know if you can see it. It's a good warm up. If I do say so myself. All right, so now we're gonna practice some of our judo skills. And skill number one, we already practiced with our judo challenge, if you're following Zen Yu Judo Dojo on Instagram. And we want to make sure we're tying our belt. So if you don't know how to tie your belt, we got to work on that. So go to the Instagram or um, Zen Yu Facebook page and look at the how-to videos on how to tie your belt. Practice those and then come back to this. All right, we're going to tie that. We're going to do that skill about five times because we want to get really good at it where we don't even have to think about it and we can do it fast. So I'm going to practice. All right. Okay. I'm going to practice putting my gi on. Left over right. The tag should be in front. I'm going to put it on my belly button, wrap it all the way around. Okay, I'm gonna do right over left, tie it tight, left over right, that's one. So if I did it one time, that means I have how many times left? You got it, four times left. Fold my belt in half, crisscross my gi, put in the middle of the belt on my belly button, Wrap it around. If I'm going too fast, you just pause me, okay? Boop. The top piece goes over the one on the bottom. Some of you might be even going faster than me, which means that you're getting good at it, and that's awesome. Okay, we did it two times, so that means how many more? Three times. Fold my belt in half, crisscross, put it on my belly button, wrap it around. Crisscross it in the back. Okay, I go over and under all of the belt. And then the top side goes over the one coming out the bottom. See how it's coming out the bottom? This one's coming out the top. Top goes over and under the one on the bottom. Again, some of you might be going faster than me. How many more times do we got? Two, I think. And again, if I'm going too fast for you, pause me. You can even rewind. Ooh, I tied the knot different that time. Did I trick you or did you even notice? One last time. Whew. How to be a master at tying your belt. That's skill number one. How can you be a judo player if you can't even tie your belt? It'd be kind of silly. You wouldn't be able to wear your judo gi for practice or for a tournament if you decide to. All right, so I got my belt tied. That was five times. Each, me, san, she, and go. All 
right, our next skill that we're going to practice on the list is a seiza le. Okay, so we're going to practice seiza and a le. So i got to bring you back down to the ground. And you can only see my feet. Okay, I'm going to take my socks off so you can see my toes. Okay, so we're going to practice seiza. We always do our right foot or our left foot down first. Okay, left foot. This is my left. Okay, I'm gonna go each, knee, some. I'm gonna practice my bow. Notice that my hands are here by my belt. My fingers are together, and then they slide off my legs, slide. They make a triangle like this. And I just dip my head down. That's one. And you know Sensei Davis has taught you this a lot. He's very picky about this. This is not Cesar Dave, okay? This is a nice, proper day. Okay, and when we get up, we do opposite. So toes go into the ground. My right leg, your right leg comes up and then left. So that was the opposite. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the side. Each, see my toes are still on the mat. Me, sun. Okay, fingers are together up by our hips. Okay, down. Notice that my butt doesn't come off the ground. Just my head dips. And then it slides back up. All right, coming up is the opposite. We do toes in the mat, right leg this time, and then left. Show you from this side, ready. Left side first, each, knee, my toes are still on the mat, sun, sliding down, head dips, sliding back, toes go back in the mat, we do right side this time, left, okay, practice it one more time, right, left, right, Relax, hands are up by the waist, triangle, dip, all right, okay, one, two, three, one last time, this is set number five, I should say rep number five, okay, so that's the Seiza bow, okay, the next skill that we're going to work on is going to be a tachire with an aggressive step, step out, okay? Let me show you what that looks like. I don't know if you're ready for this. Okay, so, tachi day. You can't see my feet. Oh no. Okay, my feet are in a triangle, just like that, or a V. Okay, like this. Okay, my hands are off to the side. Tachi means standing, so tachi, they means bow. So here, bow, my hands come to the front and touch my kneecaps, my head looks down, and I come back. And I'm gonna do an aggressive step out. One, two, did you see that? Did that step look powerful? I hope so. I'm gonna show you what my feet look like this time. Okay, making that V. Hands on to the side. They aggressive step out. One, two. Okay. One more time. Hey. One, two. Try it again. My feet are in a V. Hey. One, two. Okay. One more time, okay? Actually, I think we need to do it two more times. But I lost count because I was talking to you. Okay, you practice that. Make sure you did it five times. If I messed up, you do what's right. All right, okay, so now we're gonna practice tying our judo gi. I'm gonna practice it five times. Okay, so. This one might be hard for me to show. Okay. 
I'm gonna lay my gi down and I'm gonna crisscross it like this. Okay, I'm gonna take the arms and I'll lay them flat like this. See that? Just like that. Does your judo gi look like that? Good. All right. Now, I'm not going to practice this part because I think that would be weird for me to take my pants off. But I would take my pants off. I would fold them into the judo gi. I would lay them right here. If there's any spot that's sticking out, I would fold that in. And then I'm going to fold this almost like a burrito. Let me show you. I'm going to take one side. I'm going to fold it in like this. So the pants will go right here. And if the end is sticking out, I would fold it in, okay? And then I'm gonna fold this in like this. I'm gonna flatten it out, just like that. And then I'm gonna take the other end and fold it in like that. You see that? Kind of like a burrito. All right, and then now that I've got this, I'm gonna flatten it all down. I'm gonna fold this up like that. See that? Look how good that looks. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my belt in half and I'm gonna put the middle just in the middle of my gi. Like, I'm gonna pretend it's my belly button. I'm gonna tie it just like I would on myself. I'm gonna wrap it all the way around I'm gonna crisscross it in the back. Remember how we did that when we tied our belt? When we were wearing our belt? It's exactly how you're gonna do it. So I crisscrossed it in the back. I brought it back to the front. Lay one side down. I'm gonna go over like this. Over and under all of it. like that. See how it went under both pieces? And I'm going to pull it tight. Okay. And then, remember what I said about how the one that's coming out the top is going to go over the one coming out the bottom. Which one's coming out the top? This one or this one? This one's coming out the top, so it's going to go over and under the one on the bottom. And then I'm gonna pull it tight. Ooh, that looks, that looks good. I'm really proud of myself. Just like that. Okay, might take you some practice, but it shouldn't look sloppy. It should be really nice and tight so that if you were to shake it, it wouldn't come undone. So I'm gonna do it five more times and you can either go faster or slower than me just make sure that you're doing it correctly. So, crisscross my judo gi, crisscross the arms, fold those arms in, put my pants down, my imaginary pants, fold the bottom up, and I'm gonna fold it like a burrito, one side in, other side on top, flatten it out, okay? Flip it up. All right, this is round two. So we're gonna have how many more times after this? Three. Two minus, or five minus two is three. Okay, goes over and under all of it, and then over and under the bottom. All right, we're gonna do it one more time. One more time. I just meant we're going to repeat it again. I did math. Okay. Crisscrossed it in the front, folded the arms in. This is like origami. You want to make sure that it's nice and crisp, not sloppy. Nice, crisp lines. Fold it in, flatten it out. Take my belt, fold it in half. Put the middle in the middle, 
wrap it around, crisscross it, bring it back to the front. And then I take one end and I go over and under all of it. And then over and under one. Yeah, okay, that was three times. So we got two more times. How many times? Two more times. All right. Okay, folding it. Crisscrossing the arms, crisscrossing the top. Put my pants in, fold them up at the bottom if they stick out. Fold one side over, fold the other side over. Flatten it out. Take the middle of my belt and put it in the middle of the gi. Crisscross it in the back, wrap it around, back to the front. Go over and under all of the belt and then go over and under only one end of the belt. One last time. One last time. Okay, so gotta fold the lapels in. Make it nice and crisp. Fold one arm all the way across and in. The other one across and in. Pull it in. Line it out. Middle of the belt. Wrap it. Again, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video. You can always rewind and go back. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. We're done, baby. We did awesome. Okay. Now we're going to put this gi back on. You have your belt tying skills down. Think you got it? Criss cross. Take the middle of the belt, my belly button, crisscross it in the back. Go over and under all of it, and then over and under one. Bam. I look good. Do you look good? Yeah. Okay, our next skill that we're gonna work on is shoulder rolls. And we're gonna do five, and then we're gonna do five forward, five back. So that's a total of all right, so I know that you're not gonna have the softest surface, but we're tough, so we can do it. All right, let me set you up here so you can see me do my rolls. Five forward and five back. All right, I'm gonna squat down. These are our shoulder rolls. We also call them somersaults or tumbling, okay? My elbows go inside my knees right here. I'm gonna to touch my elbow and then my knee to the ground. Ready? Knee, 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 shoulder. I said elbow, I meant your shoulder. So, knee, shoulder, never our head. And then I'm gonna roll, nice and gentle. Nice and gentle, I'm gonna get up. Ooh, I did it without using my hands. Can you do it without using your hands? Now I'm gonna practice the other side, okay? Always be aware of your space. So I noticed that I was really close to the camera. So I had to scoot back. So if you're getting close to stuff in your house, rearrange things or move back so you've got enough space. Okay, left side. Okay, hands go on the inside of my knees. All right, knee, shoulder. Woo! What up? Okay, so that was two. Okay. Three, four, and five, yeah. Okay, so now, this time, we're gonna go backwards. And the way that's gonna work is, notice that I'm gonna start on my feet, I'm gonna sit back, and both my feet go over one shoulder, okay? Now, the floor is kinda hard here, I don't have carpet. So make sure you really tuck your head and go slow. So I'm gonna rock back and then roll. So that was one. I'm gonna have to kick my feet to the other side. Two. Three. 
four, five. Good job. All right, so now what we're gonna practice is we're gonna practice doing what I call a rolling fall from a modified position. And on your paper, I wrote it as rolling fall from one knee down, okay? And this is how it's gonna look. We don't wanna do one from a full standing position on hard floor. So it's gonna look like this. All right, so one knee down. I'm gonna put one knee down and keep one knee up. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the other hand down like we're making our triangle. So this would be almost as if I was standing like this when we do our rolling fall. But I'm gonna do it from my knees. I'm gonna practice rolling on this arm. Same arm that, same arm of the leg that's up, right? Same foot forward as the arm that we roll on. I'm gonna roll. Good. Now I'm not gonna slap, because that would really hurt on this hardwood floor. And not that it wouldn't be okay, but it wouldn't be comfortable. Okay. All right. So let me show you what it looks like to make sure we're landing right. I'm all the way on my side, not like this, all the way on my side. My hand is flat and my feet are here. This knee is up. The one closest to the ceiling is up and this one is down. Do you remember what your feet are supposed to look like? I'll show you. Your feet should look like this. One pointing at the other. So if that's not right, make sure you fix it, okay? We don't wanna keep telling ourselves two plus two is five when we know that two plus two is four. So you don't wanna keep doing the wrong thing with your feet. So if they're facing the wrong way or the other one is in front, this is incorrect. We want this one, the one with the knee up that's closest to the ceiling. That foot needs to be pointing at the foot on the ground. See that? So always check. Okay, so that was one. I'm gonna do the other side. So now this knee is up, other knee is down, one hand down. This foot's up, this is the arm I'm rolling on. I'm gonna roll and then slap. Well, not slap, but make sure that my position is right. When my position is right, this top foot with the knee up is pointing at the foot on the bottom. So that was two. All right, you can definitely do more if you wanna keep practicing. But five is the minimum. What would be even better would be if you did five on each side with a total of 10. All right, if you wanna do extra, just pause the video and then come back. All right, the next activity that we're going to do is called a standing squat and rock. So. It's kind of like a backfall, except we're not gonna slap, but we're still gonna make sure we tuck our head. And we're gonna make sure that we don't touch our head to the ground. That would really hurt. So you gotta make sure that you're going extra slow on this one, all right? Here's what it looks like. I'm standing here, just like a regular person. I'm gonna squat down, I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna keep my hands forward just like we would if we were doing a full fall. And I'm gonna rock back, keeping my head tucked. And I'm gonna let my feet come up, okay? Notice how far my head is away from the ground. That's what I wanna see all the time, okay? So parents, if you're watching, make sure that your athlete is not touching their head to the ground. And if they really get good, they can try lifting up their hips and pointing their feet to the sky. This is gonna help you create a little bit more core stability, which is really, really good for you. Okay, so that was one. Hands are forward, squatting down. 
sitting and rocking. That was two. Sitting again, hands forward. Three. Four. Hands are always forward. Five. Again, did you see how my head wasn't touching the ground? Make sure that you do it really slow the first few times. And if you can think that you can do it a little faster without hitting your head, then you can try that. So even when I pick my hips up, my head still didn't touch the ground. That should be your goal too. All right. The next one that we're going to do, only do it if you're feeling confident in your standing squat rock back. So the next one that we're going to do is called a single leg squat and rock. And it's kind of like a side fall, except again, we're not going to slap. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to slide my foot, one foot, I'm going to squat down, I'm going to rock back, and bring my feet up. Notice that my head never touches the ground here, okay, and then I get back up. I'm going to do the other side, one foot, squat, sitting on my butt, rock back. Okay, if this is really hard for you, you can practice sweeping, sweeping here, and keeping this foot on the ground. And then, my hands are always forward, squatting with two feet and rocking back. Sweeping. Again, if it's too hard to do it on one foot, keep that foot on the ground and squat down and then rock back. Okay. All right. One last one. I'm going to try it without putting my foot on the ground. Oh, yeah. I've still got it. I'm so good. I felt so confident. I want to do one extra one. All right. All right. Okay, so now we just finished doing our judo skills, and now we're going to move on to our judo drills. So these are more specific. Okay, and the first one is our seo hop. So this is a throw that some of you already know, and it's called seo nage. And on traditional seo nage, you're going to try and get really low. So we call these seo hops. We're going to go one, two, and then we're going to try and rotate on three. Three. And we're going to do that five times. We're going to rotate the other way. I rotated to my right. Now I'm going to rotate to my left. One, two, and we're going to try and hop and rotate. Three. Good. I just rocked back onto my heels. Don't do that. Be better than me. Stay on the balls of your feet. Okay, so that was two. I'm going to rotate to my right this time. One, two, three. Okay, now we're going to rotate to my left this time. One, two, three. Good. So that was four, and we would do one more for five. Okay, but I'm going to show you two more, because I'm going to show you how you could just keep going forward for five, and then come back for five. One, two, and then we rotate. Okay, and I can go back and see how I'm moving forward, but I could always Turn back around and then keep going this direction. All right, so you try which one works for you. Okay, our next judo drill is going to be a pivoting exercise. So the pivoting exercise is practicing getting our feet in the right position after we pivot for a throw. And it's going to look like this on the top side. Okay. Gonna practice stepping. I'm sorry. So I'm going to step across, forward and across. I'm going to pivot on this foot. Notice that I'm on the balls of my feet. I'm going to pivot. And then I'm going to turn around 180 degrees. I'm going to be 
shoulder width apart. Notice that my feet are wider. And I'm still on the balls of my feet. Okay, now I'm gonna step with my left foot. Left, stepping across, and then pivot. Stepping with my right, stepping across, pivot on this foot. Okay, stepping with my left, pivot on that foot. I'm gonna keep repeating that. All right, I'm gonna do that 10 times. Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do is 10 times. So I just did 10 and I'm going to do that three times. So that's a total of 10 plus 10 is 20 and another 10 is 30. So we're going to do a total of 30. Okay, I took my break. So now I'm going to do another 10. I'm going to do these facing sideways so you can see how it looks from this angle. Stepping across on the ball of my feet, pivot. So that's one, two, Three. Remember, you're alternating right and left. Okay, right and left. Right and left. Okay. I'm not going to lie, I lost count. Okay, so I'm going to do a few extra of what I think is extra and take a break. Okay, if I'm going too fast, you just pause the video. If I'm going too slow, you can skip ahead. All right, I just took a break. I'm going to do my last 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so one more time. Stepping across, stepping across, pivoting on this foot, and rotating this way. Okay, all right. Okay, so our next exercise is going to be doing our neck up our neck up and down drills okay and our neck up and down drills we're going to do 10 up and downs and we're going to repeat that three times remember having a strong neck in judo is really important <clears throat> so one sun sheet go goak sheet hutch cute do i'm going to take a rest Hopefully your neck wasn't tired, but if it is, we're gonna get stronger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Okay, we got one more set. I'm gonna do one more set of ten. Ready? Each knee. Front, sheet, go, cloak, sheet, hutch, cue, and ju. Is your neck sore? If your neck isn't tired, then I would try to do a few more sets until you can't do a full set of 10. All right. But I know for some of you, that may have been hard because we haven't been doing judo for quite a few weeks. All right. Okay, our next exercise is called O Sotogari Swings. Okay, and they're gonna look like this. I'm gonna take my right foot and I'm gonna go one. See how my toes pointed? I'm gonna go two. Balancing on one foot can be really hard. One, two. Okay, one, two. My toes are pointed from start to 
finish. Point in, point. Can you do that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you notice that my chest and head also went down? I'm gonna try the left side this time. Okay, we're gonna do how many? 10, ready. Left side, my foot's pointed. Two, okay, okay, that's two, three. It's okay if you need to reset and catch your balance. Four. So that was two sets of 10, and we'd need to do one more set of 10. I'm gonna go back to my right side. One, two, three, four, five. Your toes pointed. Try not to unpoint them. Eight, nine. Oh, I need to reset. I almost lost my balance. Ten. Were you able to do it without having to reset? I lost my balance a couple times, so I had to reset. All right. The next exercise we're going to do is called a T-step. You need a wall to be able to do this, so let's make sure we find a wall. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hands up against the wall just like this. Okay, hands right here. All right. Okay, and then my feet are going to do that T-step that Kazu Sensei taught you. All right, so my feet are gonna look like this. One, two. One, two, one, two. Okay, so my feet make this T-step. Okay, Oops. all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm going to show you what my upper body looks like. My upper body stays the same. So I did ten, and now I'm going to do another ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got one more set. And I like to practice both sides. So this time I'm going to switch to my left side. That means that my left foot is going to go in first and my right foot is going to T-step behind. What I just did was the right side and I stepped with my right foot first first and then T-stepped with my left behind. All right, let's see if we can get this going for us. Ooh. Let's see if you can catch me doing this right. Okay, left foot first. One, two, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. was our 30. So the next one that we're going to do is going to be our foot sweeps. All right, foot sweeps. We're going to practice stepping and then turning our foot out. Now remember, our foot turns out like this. Notice how my pinky toe is on the ground and the very edge of my foot is there. This leg is also straight, so my knee is nice and straight like this. Okay, another foot here. So I'm going to go one, two, and notice that I pull down with the hand. I'm going to pretend I've got someone's arm here and I'm pulling their arm down. I'm going to pull their arm down as I sweep their leg. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you're pulling down. 10. Okay, take a break. We're going to do one more, or another two sets. One, two, three, four. Is your foot turned out all the way? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Just one more reminder. Make sure your knee is straight when you sweep. Okay, one more set. Hajime. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the three things that you're looking for are your foot is turned all the way out and cupped, and then your knee is straight when you sweep and you're pulling down with the same arm that you're sweeping with the leg. All right, next one is going to be pulling hands, and these look like this. We're gonna start with our hands like this, and then we're going to grip, pretend we're grabbing a judo gi, and we're gonna rotate our pinkies up and then pull back with our elbows. Try to pretend that you're trying to squeeze an orange with your shoulder blades and you're trying to touch your elbows in the back. So, each, knee, sun, really squeeze, Go, oak, sheach, hatch, cube, chew. Okay. You should really squeeze. Keep your hands straight out like this. Don't let your hands drop. Ready. Each knee. Rotate those pinkies. Sun. She. Go. Oak. Sheach, hatch, cute, jew. Woo! If you're getting tired, shake your shoulders out, do some neck circles. We got one more set. Are you ready? Each, knee, sun, sheet, go, go, sheet. Oh, it's getting hard. Cute. Chew. Woo! Were you feeling it right here? I was feeling it right here. So if you weren't feeling it, that means that you can either do more, not faster, but just more reps at the same pace because you want to squeeze. Okay? Or you weren't holding your arms up and squeezing if it was too easy. So if it was too easy, try to fix your form or add more reps, and if it was too hard, push through, you can do it, okay? All right, ebby, we're gonna practice ebby and then reverse ebby. It's gonna look like this. Ooh. We're gonna put both our feet down on the ground and we're gonna arch onto our shoulder like this. We're gonna arch to the other side. This is it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Okay, that was reverse.
first ebby. Now we're going to do regular ebby. We're going to go one, come back. My feet stay here. I push my butt backwards and I go to my shoulder. Feet stay here. I'm going to push down, get on my shoulder, and push my butt back. Were you able to do it? All right. Okay. So that was Ebby and reverse Ebby. Oh, I only did two sets, so we got to do one more. Okay. Ready? I'm going to go back to the reverse Ebby. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. All right, I finished my third set. All right, we finished our judo skills. So now we're gonna move on to conditioning and we're gonna do each exercise for 30 seconds and we're gonna do as many good exercises as you can. So it's not about doing as many as you can in 30 seconds. It's how many can you do good in 30 seconds. All right, so we're gonna combine going fast with also keeping really good form. All right, first one that we're gonna do is wall push-ups. And wall push-ups are gonna look like this. I don't really have a good wall to practice on. That one has a heater on it and the heater's going. All right, all right, wall push-ups. So what I'm gonna do is you need to put your feet up against a wall like this. Okay, just like we do in practice. And then I'm gonna push up. Do my push ups from here. Now remember, your push ups, your arms need to be in line with your chest like this, right here. All right? So you try that. Don't let your hands go out here like this. We don't wanna do push ups like that. But my feet are gonna stay right here. Okay. Ready? We're gonna do them for about 30 seconds. Oh, 30 seconds isn't up, but it's getting hard. So I'm gonna move down to my modified push-ups, which means I'm gonna be on my knees here up against the wall. So if you need to do modified, that's fine. Don't let your butt sag, stay right here. Sit-ups for 30 seconds. Okay, sit-ups for 30 seconds. All right, we got this. Let it go. One, two, three. How many can you do? Maybe you can do more than me. Don't forget to breathe. We got 15 more seconds. You got this. 10 more seconds. You got this. Three seconds. Two, one, one. Were you counting? How many sit-ups did you do? I didn't count, but I did a lot. All right. The next one that we're going to do is going to be wide high knees. All right. So that's going to look like this. Instead of doing high knees with my feet close together, I'm going to do them with my feet wide like this. Ready? Go. All right. Come on. You got this. Keep your feet wide, don't let them come close. Keep them wide. Okay, we're almost done. Woo, we're there. Come on, you got this. Let's go, Zen, you. Bump, bump, bump. Come on, keep going. We got 10 seconds. Woo, 10 seconds. Let's go. Woo, and we're done with that. Okay, next one is gonna be lunges. We're gonna do lunges. 
for 30 seconds. Ready, go. If you know how to do this, go ahead and do it. Make sure that you're pushing with your heel. Push with a flat foot. Don't come up on your toes. This is a no-no. Stay flat. Notice that I'm keeping my chest straight. You see that? All right. Okay, 10 seconds. And we're gonna switch to burpees. Okay, burpees look like this. Put my hands on the ground, jump back, jump together, jump up. That's one. How many can you do? Come on. We got 20 seconds left. How many can you do? Count. 10 seconds left. How many can you do? Are you beating me? Woo. Woo. All right, we're switching to skaters. Skaters look like this. I'm going to hop and slide. Okay. Can you do this? Looks like this. Can you do this? You got 10 seconds left. If you can go faster, try to go faster. Keep your chest up. And we're done. We're gonna do a plank. We're gonna do 30 seconds, full plank. All right. Oh, my clock is up there. We got 20 seconds left. Oh, don't make your butt high. Whew, hold it. Don't let your butt sag. Hold it. We got 10 more seconds. You can do it. We're gonna switch to a side plank right away. So it's gonna look like this. Are you ready? Ooh. You can do it, don't let your butt sag. I have my arm up. Okay, hold it. When we're done with the 30 seconds on this side, we're gonna switch to the other side. We're almost done with our workout. You can do it. We got 15 seconds. You can do it. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna switch sides. Ready? Go. Yeah. You got this. Let's go, then you. 20 seconds left. I'm breathing hard. All right, don't let your butt sag. Call me out. Oh, less than 10 seconds. Five seconds. Come on, you can do it. Don't give up. Don't be a quitter. Oh, push yourself. Oh, ah. High five. So tired. Okay, we're gonna do Superman's for 30 seconds. Ready? Let's go. My body's flat and I lift up. One. Yeah. Count how many you're doing. Is your back getting tired? Mine's getting tired. You can even stick your arms out to look like a real Superman. You know who Superman is? He's a really cool superhero. Oh, we got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. If you wanna make it even harder, you can use your legs by lifting up. All right. That was one set. We're gonna go through this conditioning exercise and do one more set. But we're gonna take a quick break. You always want to take a break in between your sets. All right. If this wasn't that hard for you, or if you start noticing that you're getting stronger, you would do three sets of these, not two. You would do three. But today, we're just going to do two. But if you feel really strong at the end, do a third one. Push yourself to be better. All right. All right, are you ready? Deep breath, get on a wall. We're gonna do some wall push-ups. Ready, go. Notice my hands are in line with my chest. My butt isn't sagging, I'm keeping my butt up. Keep your butt up, almost like you wanna touch your chest and your face to the ground first. Okay, keep going. We're gonna see how many we can do. We got less than 10 seconds. Whew. Come on, 
Don't give up. Push through like a hard, tough judo player. Whew. We're done. High five. Okay, we're going to do sit-ups now. Okay. Don't give up. Keep going. You can do this. We got less than 10 seconds left. Can we do two more sit-ups? Okay, we're switching to wide high knees. Feet wide. Get your knees up. Don't let them be saggy. This is saggy. Get them up. 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 We got 15 seconds. Get them up. If you're slowing down, get your knee up and just slow down. If you can keep running, keep running. We got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. We're going to do lunges. One. Keep your chest straight. Two, three. Come on, keep going. We got 20 seconds left. Ooh, my legs are tired. Are your legs tired? Come on. You're stronger than me. Let's go. Yay. Less than 10 seconds. Ooh. We're going to switch to burpees. In three, two, one. Hands down, out, in, up. Hands down, out, in, up. If you can go fast, go faster. Fifteen seconds. Come on, you got this. Yeah. Jump at the top. Three seconds left. Do one more burpee. Oh, yeah. Okay, skaters, are you ready? I notice that I bend my knee. I bend this knee and I cross my legs. Ten seconds. Oh, five seconds. All right, we're gonna do plank. You got this. I'm really impressed. I'm breathing hard. Are you breathing hard? Don't let your butt go too high. We got 15 seconds left on this plank. Then we're gonna do a side plank. All right, keep your knees up. Okay, we got 10 seconds left. You can do it, squeeze your tummy, squeeze your butt. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're going to switch to the other side. Left side plank. Whew, you got this. Don't sag. Keep it up. This is our last set. we got one more exercise after this. One more exercise. Keep your hip up. Oh, we got 15 seconds left. You got this. Hold it up. Hold it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Left side. You got this. Come on, Zenyu, you're tough. You're strong. We got 20 seconds left. Keep your butt up, don't let it sag. Hips up. 10 seconds and then we've got Superman's. And then we're done. Come on, Zenyu. No saggy butts. Four, three, two, one. Switch to Superman. Fly through the air. Da 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 Oh, dog hair everywhere. I should have vacuumed first. Oh. Ten seconds. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Four, three, two, one. Oh, fist bump. Oh. Okay, if you need to, go get a drink of water. You deserve it. Ugh. All right, we're going to do a quick cool down. All right. If you don't want to do these stretches, you can go ahead and log on to YouTube and go to that link that I put in the PDF or in the worksheet. 
Yeah, your mom and dad can help you find that yoga session. So you should be doing these workouts a couple times a week. I would say two to three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday would be the best. Okay, and then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, or on the days that you're not doing this, switch, you wanna do yoga. And the reason you wanna do yoga is because it helps make us more flexible. It's working out, but at a lower level, so you're not hurting your muscles. And it gives your tough working body a break, but an active break. So you're still getting stronger, you're getting more flexible, all while not being as intense. It's really important. The next <clears throat> stretch is going to be a frog stretch. Okay. I'm gonna look like a frog. See how I'm doing this? Okay. Try to touch my bottom of my feet together. I try to bring them in, and I also try to push them down. So try to push your feet down. I'm not very flexible, because I need to practice, but that's what you want. Like this, I'm gonna hold this for a little bit. Yoga is also really good because it helps bring clarity and calmness to your mind. And that's really important as a person, and especially as a judo player. All right, we're gonna switch to a runner's stretch. My goal here is to push up and push my hips down. You should feel a stretch right here. Now we're gonna do a quad stretch. I'm gonna put my knee down. I'm gonna grab my foot. You should feel the stretch lower down in your leg. Chest up. Switch sides. Chest up, pushing away, pressing down. Notice my knee isn't on the ground. Alright, the next, the next stretch is going to be a calf stretch. So we're going to find a wall or something firm and we're going to put our foot up and keep our knee straight. You should feel the stretch in our calf muscle. If you don't feel it, just lean in, keeping your legs straight. We're going to switch to the other side. Now we're gonna do a figure four stretch, and that looks like this. If you're really flexible and you don't feel the stretch in your back leg here, you can lay down and grab here and pull in. And then we're gonna to switch to the other side. If you can't reach here, that's okay. Try to see if you can sit up like this, or like this. You can also flex your foot. That's Sophie. Stop. The next stretch is the cross body arm stretch. Keep your arms straight. Those are my dogs. You know Frankie and Sophie. <laughs> Switch to the other side. No, thank you. Now we're gonna to switch to over our back. Be 
you should feel it right here. Now we're going to switch to the other arm, pull it back this way. I'm going to do the back stretch. We'll play our arms out, cross over like this. Go to the other side. Don't be moved. And the last stretch that we're going to do is the sumo stretch. Wide feet, toes pointing out, squatting down. Don't let your knees curl in like this. Okay. Don't let your knees come in. Push them out. You should feel a stretch right here. All right. I had a lot of fun working out with you today. So again, you can either follow this video or once you learn some of those skills, you can go ahead and run through that entire workout all on your own. Make it easier, make it harder, adjust it to your skill level. Don't make it too challenging, make it just right. And also don't make it too easy, okay? All right. I miss you guys. Stay healthy, keep working out, eat good food and drink lots of water. All those things are not only gonna make you a health, healthy, strong judo player, but they're also going to help prevent disease. So make sure you're keeping up on those things. Lots of vegetables and protein, lots of water to flush out all the toxins and keep you hydrated, and always exercising to keep your body strong. Can't wait to see you guys out on the mat.